Yeah. Now with the zone, Matchroom, which Matchroom Eddie Hearns is supposed to deliver the big fights, offer Charlo seven million dollars to fight me, offer Canelo forty to fight Demetrius Andre, five million dollars more to fight me. Instead, he went up and fought Kovalev. So instead of that thirty-five million dollars he was getting, they offered him forty to fight Demetrius Andre, and he was like, "Nah, I'm gonna fight Kovalev." Yeah. Like you said, fifty-four and one sixty. He wants to unify at 160 after he beat Triple G. You know what he did? He said, nah, I'm not fighting Andre. I'm going to go fight Kovalev. I'm going to go fight Kovalev. So, in my standpoint... Next question. Just payday, payday. You want payday? I know that. <laughs> payday, payday, right? Payday, payday. <laughs> yo, yo, don't get that little what, payday when he get in the ring and fight. They offered him 40 to fight Demetrius Andre. And he was like, nah, I'm going to fight Kovalev. When am I going to get my big break? How come I'm not getting it? And what do I got to do to get it? Yeah. I, ran up, I ran up to Chavo's press conference twice. Ran up on Triple G in the ring. I wasn't even allowed to be in the ring. I slid under the ropes, bro. This is how much of G I am. Like, yo, they try to stop me from going in the ring. I was like, all right, boom. I had my people hit the corners. The, the, the security came running after them. I slid under the rope, bro. No, your ears did not deceive you. So Canelo Alvarez turned down his highest purse. $40 million guaranteed in order to fight Demetrius Andrade for Undisputed. Now keep in mind that Canelo Alvarez stated, his dream and his goal is to become the first middleweight undisputed Mexican champion. Canelo made that statement prior to Andre becoming a champion at 160 and Charlo becoming his mandatory. And then the moment Demetrius Andre became a champion at 160, all of a sudden Canelo Alvarez gave up on his dreams and the goals he set out for himself when he was one fight removed from undisputed all canelo alvarez had to do was fight demetrius andre obviously at the time canelo alvarez was the unified champion holding three belts all he was missing was the wbo belt that demetrius andre held that was the last missing piece of the puzzle there were no roadblocks to making the fight come to fruition because both fighters fought on the zone. In fact, the zone wanted the fight. The promoters wanted the fight. Even Canelo promoter at the time, Oscar De La Hoya, he stated in order for Canelo Alvarez to be a Mexican great, he has to fight the likes of Charlo and Andre. The zone was so interested in the undisputed bout between Charlo and Andre that they offered Canelo his highest purse, 40 million guaranteed to fight Andre, which they labeled as a premier fight. However, would you guys believe Canelo ended up turning down the offer of 40 million dollars guaranteed to fight Andre, his highest purse to this day, in order to make less money against Kovalev? who was one foot out of the door on his way to retirement since he took a beating against Yard where he was one punch removed from getting KO'd, AKA put to sleep. Now after putting things in perspective, it's one thing if Canelo Alvarez pulled a Ryan Garcia when he was Demetrius Andre mandatory at 154 where Canelo was a non-champion and Andre was a champion. Canelo pulled a Ryan Garcia by turning down a fight with the champion Andre as a mandatory. A few moments later when Andre vacated the belt, the European assassin Canelo Alvarez requested to fight Caleb Smith, a European fighter, for the vacant belt. Nah, as if that's not already bad enough, it does not get worse. Then Canelo Alvarez turning down his highest purse of 40 million guaranteed for a Demetrius Andrade undisputed bout. You want payday? 
You won payday. How is Canelo going to claim? Andrade is only looking for a payday. When the Andrade fight was Canelo's highest purse on the zone to this day, and he turned it down. The irony of it all. But Canelo, he prefers to make less money fighting the likes of Ivini Yildrum, a fighter coming off a loss and two year layoff, fighting the likes of Billy Joe Saunders, a cheater who tested positive for steroids against Andre. And what makes matter worse, Canelo made 15 million guaranteed against Billy Joe Saunders. And finally, Canelo is looking to fight Caleb Plant for the European throne. You really can't make this up. If Canelo did what he was supposed to do, which is fight his own version of the Fabulous Four, Andre and the Trollo twins, Canelo could have easily made more money fighting his rivals at 160, Jamal Trollo and Andre, than he would have made at 168 fighting all of these Europeans. Just in two fights, Canelo would have made more money at 160 than he's currently making for four fights at 168. However, the truth is Canelo is the pioneer of the NBF witness protection franchise. No black fighters allowed, only Europeans, in which Canelo turning down 40 million to fight Andre is a perfect proof. Therefore, let's open the two-time Grammy Awards book Duckin 101, written by the author Canelo Alvarez. Let's start from page one. Excuse number one. Side note, all of these excuses you guys will hear Canelo Alvarez fans repeat to a T in the comment section. So starting off with excuse number one. You haven't fought anybody, which obviously Canelo Alvarez used against Andre during the press conference. So first of all, Andre has more credentials than Kayla Plant, Billy Joe Saunders, Ivini Yildrum, and Caleb Smith. Therefore, how come Canelo didn't question who they fought when Canelo fought these guys, the European fighters, for less money? However, Demetrius Andre, who Canelo is going to make the most money fighting, who has more credentials than a Kayla Plant, Billy Joe Saunders, Ivini Yeldrum, and a Caleb Smith. And now all of a sudden, Canelo wants to know who Andre fought. However, he didn't put that same stipulation when he fought all of these European fighters who truly didn't fight anybody. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, does it? See, we really could dissect that further. I was the one that brought it to the public attention that Canelo avoided Andre for undisputed. Now, did you guys peep how Canelo aggressively called out Caleb Plant? You see, Canelo had a different energy for Caleb Plant undisputed bout than he did with Andre undisputed bout. Talk about the change of energy. Canelo had no energy with Andre. Demetrius Andre told Canelo, grow some cojones and fight me for undisputed. Guess what Canelo did? He pretended as if me no speaking no English. Then when he ran to 168, a safe division full of Europeans. Now Canelo, he speaks fluent English. More importantly, Canelo went from being a duck to a lion at 168. That was the ultimate change to me. He did a transformation. How do you transform? from ducking Andre for Undisputed at 160 for 40 million guaranteed to hunting down Kayla Plant at 168 for Undisputed like a lion goes after his prey for less than 40 million guaranteed. Therefore, how come Canelo is not questioning who Kayla Plant fought? Kayla Plant haven't fought anybody, but guess what? Andre actually did. Andre beat the undefeated Vince who was 33-0. Andre fought Nelson, who KO'd an undefeated Tony Harrison. Andre didn't just beat Nelson. He knocked him out, dropping him four times in the process. 
Andrade also fought Seleski, who gave Daniel Jacob hell, in which Andrade completely dominated him. Andrade is also an Olympian and a two-time world champion in two different divisions that made Billy Joe Sandris juice up instead of fight him. On the other hand, Kayla Plant, he's only a one-time world champion in one weight division who haven't fought anybody yet. However, Canelo is not questioning who Kayla Plant fought. Canelo didn't question who Avini fought. Canelo didn't question who Rocky Fielding fought. Canelo didn't question who Billy Joe Saunders fought. All of a sudden, now he's concerned and want to question who Andre fought. Like I said before, this is the duck print by Canelo Alvarez. Now the second excuse on page two is that Andre is boring. He runs too much. That's what Canelo says, right? Therefore, how come Canelo fought Billy Joe Saunders, who quote, runs around the ring and moves more than Andre does? How come Canelo fought him, Billy Joe Saunders that is, for 15 million and turned down a fight with Andre for 40 million? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, does it? I thought what makes sense make dollars. However, for Canelo Alvarez, if you're not European, then you don't make sense. Therefore, if Andre want the Canelo Alvarez fight, he's gonna have to bleach his skin since the NBF witness protection franchise still applies. Furthermore, if Canelo truly feels like he the best, how is he going to tell another fighter how to fight? Does Canelo really think he has the complexion privilege to request for the fight to be on easy mode while claiming he's the best? Yeah, I agree. He's the best cherry picker pound for pound. The best fighter against Europeans. See, Canelo Alvarez can never request a fighter not to be dancing around the ring because when Canelo fought Triple G for the first time, he was running around the ring. So if Canelo was running against Triple G, then why can't a fighter, quote, run against him? After all, boxing is all about the sweet science, the bull versus the matador. Therefore, hopefully that pumps some sense into Canelo Alvarez. Excuse number three on page three. You won payday, you won payday. Well, ironically, Canelo turned down his biggest payday, 40 million guarantee, to fight Andre. The only time Canelo made 40 million was against Triple G the first time they fought. After the pay per view percentage, so on and so forth, Canelo took home 40 million. Even in the Triple G rematch, Canelo did not make 40 million. And since then, he haven't made 40 million. That was his only time he made that much amount. However, he's going to turn down 40 million guaranteed to fight Andre for Undisputed? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, does it? I mean, be honest with yourselves, Canelo fans. Wouldn't you fight a bum that never fought anybody for 40 million? That's a no brainer, right? This pretty much confirms that Canelo views Andre as a bigger threat than Triple G, since he's not willing to fight Andre like he was willing to fight Triple G for the same amount of money. Excuse number four on page four. Canelo claiming that Andre is a horrible fighter and he will never fight him. Now, first of all, if Andre is a horrible fighter, that means he should be the first on the list of Canelo potential opponents since Canelo fights nothing but horrible fighters, flawed fighters. Rocky Fielding is a horrible fighter. Avini Yildrum is a horrible fighter. And Canelo just recently fought these guys for less money than 40 million. Therefore, 
if Andrade was actually a horrible fighter, wouldn't you think Canelo would have had fought him for 40 million like he fought Avini and Rocky Fielding, especially when the fight was for undisputed? If the so-called horrible fighters, Avini and Rocky Fielding, held the WBO title Andrade had, Canelo would have fought them for undisputed in a heartbeat. Never mind the 40 million that's on the line. That would have just been a bonus. He would have fought Avini for 10 million for undisputed. So we all know what time it is. Even Canelo Alvarez's biggest fans know the truth deep inside. Canelo will go down as the biggest protected duck the sport have ever witnessed since he got the complexion for the connection to get the ultimate protection. And for the people that say, well, what you gonna say when Canelo knocks out Andre? First of all, Canelo fans, y'all ain't the one fighting. If Canelo had y'all confidence, he would have fought Andre by now instead of continue to being disrespected and proving that he's a duck. Second of all, Canelo already said, I will never fight you. You will never get the fight. So why are we even talking about what we going to say if Canelo do this or do that when he already blacklisted Andre, proven what Andre said to be correct of him not having any cojones? And last but not least, Eddie Hearn has to be ashamed of himself the way he treated Demetrius Andre. Look, we understand. We clearly get it. Trollo turned down seven million. Trollo don't want the fight. Okay, we know that. Andre been screaming that out of the top of his lungs for the past year. However, at no point he made any mention of Canelo turning down 40 million for undisputed in order to fight Demetrius Andre. Doesn't Eddie know that's valuable information the public needs to know? This is the type of information money can't buy. This is proofs that Andre is the boogeyman and Canelo is the ultimate duck. But instead, all we get from Eddie is Trollo, 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 who's on a whole nother network, Showtime. But Eddie never talks about the fighters on the zone that actually turned down a fight with Demetrius Andre, such as Gennady Golovkin, Billy Joe Saunders, Monguia, and Canelo Alvarez. The million dollar question, how come Eddie Hearn don't air out Triple G, Saunders, and Canelo the same way he airs out Charlo? when those fighters are actually on the zone. So those fights are easier to be made. And what makes matter worse is that Eddie Hearn is actually keeping this type of information away from the public and the media, which is a bad look on Eddie Hearn's behalf. I mean, we all get it. Eddie Hearn only has Anthony Joshua for one more fight. He only has Devin Haney for one more fight. So, he can be a little desperate and the fact that he has a good working relationship with Canelo might be it. Well, that's not the case because this actually took place when Canelo was still with Golden Boy. Canelo was bonded to the zone and Eddie Hearn lesions at the time all belonged to Andre, who was actually his fighter. It was really disappointing to see Eddie telling Andre to leave the press conference when he was going back and forth with Canelo. I never seen that before. I never seen a fighter get kicked out of a press conference like he's a fan. Even Andre didn't get kicked out of the press conference when he did the same thing with Charlo. Mind you, Andre was not a Showtime fighter. Showtime didn't kick him out, even though that was a Showtime post press conference. But the zone is going to kick their own fighter out of their own network during their press conference? That's the ultimate disrespect if you ask me. Eddie knows this is free promotion. I mean, he witnessed Big Baby Miller do the same thing with Anthony Joshua. 
Big Baby Miller didn't get kicked out or banned. More so, The Zone posted it. But would you guys believe The Zone did not post the interaction between their own fighter that fights on their network, Andre and Canelo Alvarez? It's mind blowing because The Zone posted Anthony Joshua and Big Baby Miller interactions all over their page when that took place but when it's Andre and Canelo all of a sudden they completely ignored it as if that wasn't the highlight of the night with all of the facts being stated the zone is making the ultimate mistake the same mistake that caused HBO downfall of desperately trying to replace Floyd Mayweather with a white hope therefore the zone need to know if Canelo couldn't save HBO, what makes you think he's going to make the zone? Him alone is not going to cut it. Because you best believe if Floyd Mayweather was still fighting on HBO, then HBO will still be around till this day. And now it seems like the zone is blacklisting Andre from getting the Triple G fight, Canelo. Billy Joe Saunders, so on and so forth. And Eddie has the audacity to claim Canelo and Billy Joe are willing to fight anybody while knowing they both turned down Andre fights. So with that being stated, to all of the Canelo fangirls, for the ones that claim I'm hating, even though everything that I said is a fact, point out the timestamp of what I said exactly you disagree with because if you can't you simply can't handle the truth the truth either is going to set you free or burn your emotional soul so drop your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV Peace, and I'm on to the next one. Nello, you're a b I'm putting it out there. No, I don't like to disrespect men that step into the ring, but damn, you fighting Kirtland that hasn't been in the ring since Glenn Tapia when you have an opportunity to fight Demetrius Andre for the WBO. Damn, I thought in the sport of boxing, people want to be a champion to have that title. I understand you got De La Hoya, you got the promotion team, you got the money, you got the, the contract. I mean, you got the, the country, I mean, you got the country behind you, the fan base. But then you scared of getting into a fight. I thought, I thought you was the man. If I knew some Espanol, I'd hit you up with that too, but damn. Come on, man, stop playing. Like shit, man, all I want to do is fight, show people I'm the best in the world. I thank God for everything that it comes my way and every obstacle that comes my way man i know how to sleep slip and slide in between man I um um you know uh, back in Ho uh, muhammad ali went to sunny listen's house <laughs> you know what i'm saying pulled up at his house uh, uh landed days everybody ran up to somebody's press conference if you were really the man and you guys wanted to make a fight happen you, that's what you had to do and so <laughs> that's what i'm doing you know what I'm saying? Somebody just put Aaron Pryor. Like, these are things that was entertaining in boxing. What other sport can you go to somebody's press conference and be like, yo, bro, let's fucking fight? Yeah. You can answer. You can answer, right? Everybody else's questions. Hey, what do you think about Demetrius Andre? I don't know if I'm nobody. I don't find nobody. And nobody. Oh, <laughs> what do you think about Charlo? What do you think? So I can't ask him that same question. Like, yo, bro, what do you, what, what's up, bro? We can't, we can't get it on. Yeah. We can't get it on. Yeah. Why can't we get it on? Why, why Rocky failed it? Why you're done? Why Colin Smith? Who Smith for? Yeah. Who, who Billy Joe for? You know, they don't want to see this superhero get beat, bro. That's just what it is. Yeah. You know, that's just Canelo fans protecting their hero. You know, they don't want to cry. They don't want to, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to, Canelo. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Canelo. <laughs> That's it, <a> go. <girl. laughs> like, come on.